In RESSIM, it can be a little bit confusing to understand some of the terminology that's used in actually setting up a model and how this terminology relates to, to the other terminology that's used. And th there's five terms that I think can be helpful for a user to understand. The first is configuration, then network, then operation set, then alternative, and then simulation. So I'm going to show um, I'm going to give definitions of each one of these and then show how they work with one another. The first thing I wanted to cover is the configuration, and that's what's developed in this watershed setup module. Um, typically, you're just going to have one configuration. It's going to show the, um, the stream alignment and also the reservoir and, and other major features within your system. Um, so I, I think all of the models I've ever worked with have had just one configuration, but maybe one example of where you might have a multiple configurations would be um, if you're looking to say maybe add a reservoir on this tributary, but you want to preserve this base configuration, then that would be a good example of where you would have two configurations. Or if you already had two reservoirs and you were thinking of taking one out, but wanted to maintain the base configuration, then that's an example of where you, you may have two configurations. We'll move on to networks. Now remember when you develop a network, it does ask for the configuration. So if you do have multiple configurations, then make sure that you're using the, the correct one, the one that you, you want to have for, for that particular network. Um, again, most models will just have one network. Um, but there might be instances where you are looking to do multiple networks, and that would be if you're going to have changes to the physical uh, criteria of the system, but you want to maintain the base uh, criteria. So let's say, for instance, that this is an outdated elevation storage table, and you now have an updated one. But maybe you want to see, well, how did the sedimentation in the reservoir um, affect the results that I get from certain simulations, then maybe you want to preserve the original storage elevation table. So that would require two different networks. Um, in this particular model, we, we kept it very simple. We used just a controlled outlet, but maybe you want to add in a power plant and see how that impacts the results. Um, so you can develop a new network and add in that power plant. One other example of where you might have multiple networks is if you wanted to change the routing. In this case, we just defaulted to the null routing to make everything easier, but maybe you want to do a comparison of Muskingum and modified poles, but you want to preserve each each one of those those networks. So in that case, you could do multiple networks that have different routing parameters in them. Next thing I wanted to show you is the alternative. Now, when you develop an alternative, remember it does ask for the network, but it will also ask for the operation sets, right? So an alternative will require um, the, the specification of a network, but it'll also um, specify, it also make you specify what operation set that you're using for each reservoir. And in this case, we just have one operation set um, and one reservoir. I'm not going to save that. Um, and speaking of operation sets, this is um, one of the items where you typically will have multiple operation sets. So um, let's say, for instance, we have a conservation zone and it's just constant throughout the entire year and it's set at 75 feet. If we decided to implement a seasonal pool at this reservoir, or if we wanted to see the impacts of raising or lowering the top of conservation, then we can do that through um, an, another uh, operation set. Um, you can also start, I, I don't have any rules in the model at this point, but you could look at the rules that are, um, that are in the model, and maybe you want to make a change to a certain rule. So maybe instead of having a minimum of 100 CFS, you wanted to see what would happen if um, I did a minimum of 150 CFS. And maybe you want to compare both of those alternatives for a specific simulation. In that case, you're going to do different operation sets um, to compare those.
Um, so basically, if you're changing zones or changing rules, then that's going to require multiple operation sets, which, as I just showed earlier, is going to require different alternatives. So that takes us all the way through um, the development of the alternatives. And the final thing that I wanted to show you is the simulation. Now, simulations are going to be um, linked into a specific date. So you can see here that um, for the simulation that I'm doing for my examples, I have this early 2019 simulation. And although I only have one alternative at this point, I can um, put in multiple alternatives and see how that how those different alternatives behave for the 2019 simulation. Now, I'm not limited to just one time period. I can also, uh, maybe I want to run an event from 2015, so I could do another simulation and put any alternatives that I want under that simulation. Um, so hopefully that um, helps understand, helps you understand some of this terminology. Uh, with regard to configuration, network, um, operation sets, alternatives, and simulations. Um, and again, just to summarize that, typically you'll have one configuration with one network, but that may not always be the case. You'll have multiple operation sets if you're looking at different operating criteria, whether that's a change in zones or a change in the rule set, um, which that will then automatically lead you to having multiple alternatives and then if you want to look at um, how those alternatives behave during specific storm events um, unless you wanted to look at just one storm event which would give you one simulation if you want to look at multiple storm events then that's going to give you multiple simulations uh, so again hopefully that helps understand some of this terminology that goes into uh, developing the res sim model